All right, let's break free. Chain gang. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Thor is thick in mythology. Definitely is. 100% true. He's described as so. He drinks mead and grog and all that. All the time. He parties consistently. To believe that he's Chris Hemsworth version of Thor. Which, don't get me wrong. You know, you, you watch uh, Thor Love and Thunder. You see him full butt cheeks out. You're like, that's an attractive man. But does not equate to the gods that we know in mythology. Gamers are gonna gamer, unfortunately. Gamer in rage goes together like peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright, get kicked. Yes, don't piss me off. Oh, I can toss it back if I get the, the perfect. But it doesn't get tossed back to them. Alright, I'm going to take care of these guys real fast. I, I've had enough. David, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you being here, keeping us company. I hope you enjoy yourself. So important the community with the lurk. Always appreciated. Okay. Are they done? They're done. And I need these dudes to stop spawning as well. I'm done. I'm done with them. Ah, enemies who are off the screen, charging up unblockable attacks. Absolute worst thing in video games. <laughs> Gamers and rage go together like salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> it's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You ain't wrong about that, Mort. I can't say that I'm fully not exempt. <laughs> There's definitely times I've had some rage-filled moments. I try not to. I try not to go back to that mindset, but it does seep out. The souls of the wicked are tortured in the pits of Tartarus. The wailing and the agony of the damned resonated deep throughout the bowels of the underworld. The bowels. The poop hole of the underworld. The depths of Tartarus. Oh, okay, we got some real harpies now. And, okay, can't can't block them. We got them real harpies. Oh, one of those weird uh, half bird man face creatures. Um, I don't know if I have a magic that would help me uh, fight these guys a little bit better. Maybe it's just grabbing them. Maybe circle grabs is the way to go for these. Get over here! It's fine to rage, it's just when you do nothing but rage that there's an issue. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And if you direct it at the wrong. If you're just like kind of mad at the game, right? Like because it's throwing out some cheap <laughs> bullshit mechanics. Or if you're raging at people. Two different things. Two different things. Like I will never rage at developers or people who worked on stuff or like on another human being. Because I was mad at, you know, being bad at a video game. Some people, unfortunately, just don't know how to manage their aggression. And it's always a sign, right? I watched a uh, an ex-friend get mad during an argument and toss a uh, computer, a uh, laptop of his ex's, at the time, girlfriend. And you're just like, that's a sign, brother. That's a sign that you have too much rage, that you're essentially showing them that you can't manage yourself like an adult. And that at any point, you could very much well turn that aggression away from the, the computer onto them. Yeah, straight up no. That's why they're, they are an ex-friend. 
I have no uh, compassion for people who, who do that. I understand there are mistakes that happen, but when it's a, uh, a little bit too consistent of a thing, you have some issues. I'm just a beheading factory. I guess it's just easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, gotta go get this archer. Now I sit here and play around with these dudes spawning in, shooting their arrows off at me. I hate that attack. Uh, this other dude's doing it. I knew he was about to. I knew he was about to spawn in and do that off screen, off camera. Show me a, a more iconic duo than God of War and enemies doing off screen unblockable attacks. As soon as he spawned in, this dude came into this existence ready. Okay, so we clearly see the save point over there. There's a chest over here, and I don't think there's anything else to do on this platform. I think it's just for this, and where the archer was. Okay, we have 10,000. Um, if I save up, wow, only a thousand more, I can get the max level for the Blades of Chaos, if it's still five. I'll definitely do that. Uh, what? How long has it said we've technically been playing? Total time, 2 hours, 41 minutes. Really? Did I only play like an hour? Huh. It feels like I, I played more on that, that first day, but maybe I hadn't. So if we're only at like 2 hours, we still have like 3 hours of this game, which doesn't make sense to me, because we're, we're a pretty decent way through. So maybe this is like a four hour game if you are pretty competent. How long to be said five and a half hours? We'll see if cutscenes and everything kind of extend that. Maybe they don't count cutscenes. Maybe that's what's happening. All the time that we're not technically playing the game. I feel like watching an anime tonight. I don't know what I want to watch, but I kind of feel like watching a, an anime tonight. I don't know. I'll probably end up just reading more One Piece. Oh, you knocked me over. Rude. Is that it? Music has changed. Oh, this chest might be it. Let's get max level blades. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Come on, come on, come on. Close. Uh, actually, no, that's it. That's, that's it. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. Max level blades. L1 and Tartarus's rage. Tartarus's rage. Oh, oh, this attack, right, right, okay, okay, okay. That's a spin of Rooney. Um, and then this one. Right, the cheerleader twirl. Statues of the gods over here. Been watching Oran High School Host Club because I heard that they might be redoing it. You doing the franchise revisit as well? <laughs> Hades, god of the underworld. With the titans in chains, Hades was given guardianship of the underworld. Keeping a watchful eye on the immortal, uh, immortal enemies of Olympus. He rules over the dead alongside his wife, Persephone. Uh, I don't blame you. They're doing uh, a new arc for Bleach, so I went through and reread all of Bleach. Zeus, king of the gods. Upon defeating the titans in the ancient war, Zeus banished them to the underworld. 
and uh, demanded that they be imprisoned, forever chained to their torment in the depths of the Tartarus pit. Poseidon, god of the seas. Upon defeating the titans, Poseidon took dominion over the seas and his master to its creatures. Is that the lore? Did Poseidon kind of like defeat the titans? Is Poseidon one of the strongest gods? Obviously Zeus is strong, but like lore-wise, is Poseidon maybe like physically one of the strongest gods? Also, give me that chest. Hello? Hello? Okay. Let's pull these out. Maybe these statues will go away after. I need to get back there. And I don't know how to do it. Oh, I don't want to leave that. Okay. Um, I don't see any way else. Like, I don't see any, like, hidden door or pathway. That's gonna bother the nuggets out of me, dude. Frick. Obviously, Hades has a whole path back there. But Poseidon, dude. Whoa. Never even thought to go over here. Just straight up ignored it for some reason. All right, I, I guess I just got to go. I just... Unless I can move this one more time. Maybe a back wall is destructible? Okay. Nope, we're in a completely different area. We didn't even get whatever was behind Hades. So I'm going to hope that we come back this way. And quite possibly shit, it's this guy again. Uh, quite possibly those statues get destroyed by something. Ow. Every time. I hate this guy. Sometimes they have like unreadable or unreachable attacks. Ooh, okay. Max level blades. Forgot that it would happen that fast. But it can be really hard sometimes to block the attack. Ow. The attacks of some of the larger enemies. Because you can't really like roll out of the way. And you definitely can't block it. Another one. <laughs> Another one, DJ Khaled says. Yep. Can't block it. Gotta move. Gotta move. Ow. I don't know if there's another dude on the left side. Did that dude really interrupt me? How? Bro just threw that out there. Just straight up threw it out there. In the middle of my combo. Fucking rude. So rude, dude. Are we done? I don't think we're done. Who else is still here? Who spawned? Uh, I really... Okay, never mind. It's, it is over. We did run into a situation where one of the rooms didn't get rid of its demon gate once before. Didn't register. Okay, so we need to get in there for reasons. Everything over here is fine. Persephone is the daughter of Zeus, a demon? Demeter? Oh, I'm sorry. Zeus and uh, Demeter, goddess of the harvest and related things. She was given to Hades as a gift because he was lonely and the only living thing in the underworld. I didn't realize it was a gift. That feels icky. I thought she... Uh, they already had a relationship, and then he got to be the god of the underworld. I thought they were all kind of essentially happy down here, but despite what people say. Like, I thought Hades actually lived in the underworld with pride. 
but he could live with pride and still be lonely, I guess. Can I scoot along this wall? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the hell? Okay, it's interactable, so we definitely need to get up there. What we're doing up there? No idea. hell am I doing up here? Oh, that's wall destructible. Oh, that was tricky. I almost didn't see that one, dude. Nice. One more feather away. All right, let's go see what's in here then. I'll take uh, the magic. Probably would want to save this. There might be a fight up there, but... Wait. Is this where they want me to go? Am I going the right way, or is this was this a side area? Uh-oh. If this is the right way... I might want to go back. There was another area that I just didn't go up. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe we can head on back a little bit later. The Jailer of Tartarus. The gods entrusted the Jailer with the key to the Temple of Zeus, where the weapon that enchains the Titans was kept safe. Also, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades are the strongest of the Greek gods. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that. I just wonder if Zeus is considered the strongest, or if Poseidon and Hades are, like, on equal terms, per se, or if one is stronger than the other. Because they keep on saying in this game that Poseidon was the one who, like, defeated the Titans. Right? And he may have defeated one or two of the Titans, but like, I'm curious if Poseidon is technically stronger than Zeus. Like, if they were to fight, who would be the one to come out the victor? Uh, what? What are we doing here? <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that did for us, but straight up, Kratos. You do you, bro. <laughs> You have acquired the Crypt, Keep, uh, Crypt Keeper's key. Nice. Oh, okay, so we would have run into a gate. We wouldn't have been able to do anything. Cool. Uh, there's no way that we have another four hours of this game. We, we probably have like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more levels. And each, we've already done like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we've already done thirteen in the hour forty minutes that we've been playing. <laughs> so let's just be aware of how much time we realistically have left in this game. Kratos, help yourself. Help me help you. <laughs> you want to get revenge on the gods? Help me help you. Also, depending on what story uh, you are told, Hades and Persephone have a pretty healthy relationship. Most of the times, it seems like Hades is just trying to make her happy because she is. Yeah, um, that's that's kind of the the lore that I had is that Persephone has no problem being in the the depths of the underworld. Like she's she's pretty okay with it because Hades is like a good guy, even though like everyone's like, oh, Satan, Hades, they're they're terrible people. It's like, nah, the dude just the dude's a good guy and they have a loving relationship. They just happen to be rulers of the underworld. And I don't think it's technically a bad thing. It's just they're not on Mount Olympus. So that's, I think, where the uh, the loneliness may have come through, which is, which is nice. I, I prefer, I know, I know they're often called like Greek tragedies and stuff like that, but like, I like a nice wholesome mythological story. All right, we're, we're about to get a way to fight these guys a little bit easier. We're about to get an, a new way of fighting these guys. Uh, actually, upgraded blades is 
in fact, easier. The easiest way to fight these guys. <laughs> uh, upgrade your blades, boy. And you can fight these guys pretty easily. Also, yeah. Yep. What was once a fairly difficult, difficult enemy has become a chump. Cannon fodder enemy. What is this? It's obviously a gauntlet. Uh, hello. You've acquired the Gauntlet of Zeus. I've never even heard of this thing. Pressing the Gauntlet of Zeus. Okay. Oh, it's a weapon. Oh, okay. It's it's an actual weapon for us. Sweet. So we have uh, square light attacks, heavy attacks, or hold for a charge. All right. I'm gonna assume it breaks breaks his shields. Gotcha. Breaks through shields. Gotcha. <clears throat> I've got the fist! Take the fisting. Okay, well, can't break through that. <clears throat> I do love some gauntlets. It's funny because, like, in God of War 3, he does get gauntlets. And I think they're Hercules' gauntlets, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, again, I was talking about how you see, like, franchises and games evolve over time, right? This was, this came out before God of War 3, so now you kind of see how some of the weapons and different things, mechanics, come through and get implemented into the PS, the eventual PS3 game. Cool. Cool. It's massive, and it's kind of ludicrous, but it's hilarious. I love it. The Gauntlet of Zeus, having vanquished his enemies in the ancient war, Zeus demanded that the that Hephaestus craft a weapon that would bend the Titans to the very wall, bind the Titans to the very walls of Tartarus. Thus, was created the Gauntlets of Zeus. I've never heard of the Gauntlets of Zeus before. It's fair. It could just be for this game, but I've never heard of them. Oh, oh now we can bust through this wall. Damn. Uh, okay. And now I can break the statues. Okay, I think I see how this is going to play out. No? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Oh shit, didn't have it, didn't have it equipped. There we go. Exactly how I thought it was going to be. No going back. Can't go back. Stuck. Health upgrade. Hell yes. Hell freaking yes, dude. Eye for an eye. Total health upgrade. Now, we need to get that final magic upgrade. That's our goal. Uh, I don't think I like the uh, the fisting for for these birds. I don't want to fist no birds. The reach is definitely more worth it, in my opinion. Okay. I have two different ways I can go. That one seems like the more obvious way, right? Most people wouldn't think to come over here, so I'm gonna assume this leads to a secret. Or it's just two different pathways that we need to go. Okay. There's a save point over here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This might be the right way. I'll try not to get trapped. Nope. 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 Sorry. You gonna make me jump down an area like that? I ain't gonna do it. I have no guarantee that I can get back up. Oh, 
Oh, you're back. What did you miss? Uh, we got a big old gauntlet. That's pretty much it. We're just kind of uh, traversing. I guess, did we fight Kronos when you're here? Not Kronos, uh, Charon. The, uh, the chariot guy of the river Styx. But nothing like major story has happened. We're just kind of, we're just kind of in hell. And I, I'm assuming trying to escape hell at the same time. Because we ain't, we ain't have no business being here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty chill Saturday. The shield boys are so nice, dude. They're not even coming to attack us. So lucky. use my heavy attack really uh nope gotta use my charge attack okay. gotcha i don't really like its combo potential uh i understand its need its necessity but i don't really like that can you can you not thank you anyone else spawning or are we all done i think we're nope there we go Yeah, it launches them too far away, for my liking. Can't keep on attacking them. I don't think it's really supposed to be for that. Oh! Any more? Nope, we are done. And I'm good on magic. I don't know if there needs to be another lever. Maybe I'm here too early? Okay. I think we need to go back. So all in all, I'm assuming that we had to do another crank, another lever. So we're slowly but surely opening up a pathway of some sort. It's 8.47 p.m. for you right now? Brother, I'd be, I'd be in my PJs relaxing right now. On a Saturday? Well, it's a Saturday. It's a weekend. No, I'm an old man. I get tired now. I get tired really easily. But... Just like on a nice Saturday, just kind of relaxing, enjoying your time, just chilling. I love it. It's cozy feelings. I love being cozy. Yeah, it's quite the time jump, isn't it? Been in your PJs the whole day. I respect it. And I, technically I am too. Technically, I have comfy clothes. I have my... Dedicated PJs, but then I have uh, my comfy pants, and they're very loose and free-flowing. I don't like wearing jeans. I don't like wearing, like, real pants. Uh, it's just not my jam. Not not while I'm at home. There's nothing quite like the weekend, you know? Where you no responsibilities. You're free to be you. You don't want to do stuff. You don't want to leave the house. You don't gotta. Oh shit, this guy's got armor. Okay. All right, now he's naked. Now he's a naked boy. right there. Oh! He beat me to it. I know I shouldn't fight with a giant cyclops like that, but, you know, sometimes you just like being cocky. 
nowadays like that's the nice part about kind of like living in the the way that we do most people don't care if you're in your pjs anymore it used to be like when you go to the airport or you go out or you do anything if you're leaving the house you kind of like dressed up especially the airport nowadays people are like wearing pjs they're wearing their comfiest of clothes and like the older generation like my grandma never like oh these kids nowadays they always look so sloppy it's like no it's called comfort these people are comfortable they're not going to torture themselves to appease other people I really like my school because uh, the time that they give us on break, summer break lasts for three months, went to break for 20 days and no spring break. That is actually really nice. I would actually take longer chunks than more consistent, uh, shorter periods. That's a that's a long time. So how far into your, well, I'm assuming you're, you're in summer break currently, correct? How So how much longer do you have? Uh, I think we're done here. No, I need to find a way to get back up. Um, <gasps> gauntlet. I see. I was trying to do the heavy attacks. I'm not used to having something that breaks shields specifically, so that actually confused me for a second. Uh, from June 10th to September 1st, so you still have an entire like month left. That's awesome, brother. That is awesome. Jealous. <laughs> I'm actually jealous. That sounds fantastic to have that much of a break. Enjoy it while you can. I will be honest. I hate to sound like old man preaching, but like nailed it. Um, as you get older, those breaks just go away. You just don't have those the luxury anymore. All right. Got a little nervous on that jump. I'm not even gonna lie. Two weeks till school. Live it up. Sleep in. Get all the rest. Eat all the junk food. <laughs> Binge watch all your favorite shows. Play your video games. Do all the things. Summer break went by fast. <sighs> Again, I hate to sound like an old man, but it's life is only going to increase at how fast you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, wait, it's been two months. Wait, it's already been a year. Wait, when? when what happens in the last five years? It, it sneaks up on you. I know you hear a lot of old people say it, but it, it actually is true. And until you live it, you don't quite understand how fast life just speeds up after you get out. I would say 25-ish. Once like you hit around 25, life just goes by in a flash. So enjoy it. Enjoy being young. There may be hard situations now, but... Remember, a lot of it isn't forever. Though at the same time, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would never wanna go back to being a teenager again. Mid 20s, I would say maybe, but I, I actually enjoy being 30. Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury. Dang, dude, look at them. They're actually in prison here. I actually, I didn't know they were like this. You play, play bass guitar and you want to learn some more rock songs before school starts? I respect that, dude. Do you play uh, on the school band as well? Or if they have something like that? Nope. Dude, keep it for yourself. Have a hobby. I respect it. No school bands. Uh, okay. I don't know if... I'm going quote-unquote the wrong way. But I'm going to keep on going. So we need to do... Ooh. There's a chest down here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There's a chest down here. Most likely going to be a fight. Just learning by yourself, plus my your brother plays. Uh, your, fa your father is a famous singer in your country. And your mother is a tailor. Dude, that, the family lineage. That's so cool. That's so cool, dude. 
So does your your dad teach you as well, or you know, well, I mean, if he's a singer, he may not know how to play the guitar. Maybe he has bandmates, or I mean, at the very least, you you get to learn rhythm and how to like read music and, and different stuff like that. Having the acceptance of a family member who's uh, into the musical arts is always is always nice. He does know a lot of instruments. Usually I've seen like once you kind of know music, it kind of translates into other instruments fairly well, right? Once you kind of know the broadness of uh, how to like read music and tempos and different things like that, it's pretty easy to, easy to translate. You still need to practice a bunch. That's so cool, dude. We love supportive parents. That's so cool, man. There's so many times I hear parents who like, find something more productive with your life. Music's not going to lead you anywhere. That's so awesome. Your parents sound really cool. Um, did I have another... Oh, God, I need another magic that uh, can shoot these guys. I forget which magics I have. And how to get them. Uh, I guess I could try this. All right, maybe we just take care of this Minotaur and we'll take care of these guys later. This doesn't seem to be working the way that I want it to. I uh, still need to take care of these guys, though. Uh, I can't get over there. Dang, I really need to remember what what is it? What's the there it is. There's a skill. That's what I was looking for. Uh, it is not powerful though at all. Shame. Wow, that takes so many attacks, dude. Are they seriously not dead yet? I'm just getting peppered over here. These dudes are too beefy. And they keep on spawning, of course. <laughs> of course they do. I think this might be my time to upgrade <laughs> one of my attacks here. I think that's what it's telling me. The Light of Dawn, I think is the one. Solar for Rapid Fire. 6,000. Do I want to do that? The blades are at maximum. I actually may not mind that. Let's do it. I'm tired of these dudes. <laughs> I'm already tired of these dudes. There's the pepper to match my salt level. They got me salty. They did it. They found a way to do it. We've officially hit that point. There we go. The game punished me for not upgrading all my magic. <laughs> They're like, you want to focus on one type of magic? It's a mistake, let me tell you. <laughs> we got there. The thing that was most important is that our blades are fully upgraded. Once, once the blades are fully upgraded, everything else is kind of just like, a, you know, an extra, an extra bit. Okay. And the orbs are so like plentiful in this game because it's a shorter one. I actually like how, how fast we get the upgrades in this game. Nothing so far has overstayed its welcome, which I really appreciate. I hate to say any of this, but I feel like in God of War 1 and 2, the games were too long for their own good. Like some of the puzzles just, they lasted too long, right? The Rings of Pandora, it took up the f like three fourths of the game. Some of the puzzles in God of War 2, just, just too long.
Is five and a half hours the perfect length for a God of War game? Well, old school. I'll call it old school because, like, then we have God of War 2018, which it's like 20 some odd hours. I didn't. I did not mean to grab that guy. I did not mean to grab that guy. I didn't want to grab that guy, but I still did. Finish God of War 2018 in like two to three days. I would say that's about accurate, yeah. Uh, I pretty much did everything in that game. I think it took me a week because I beat all the Valkyries. Uh, I did a lot of exploration. Pretty much the only thing I didn't do to get the Platinum on that game was uh, beat it on the hardest difficulty. But I really enjoyed 2018. I enjoyed playing it. Uh, there were some faults. I liked the story, but a lot of the enemies, like this game has a lot of big towering enemies from Cyclops and Minotaurs and blah blah blah. The only thing that you fight in 2018 is um, the trolls, which was unfortunate. Didn't do anything else. There's a lot of cool side story and side missions in that game, I would say. We're going to be playing it probably around September. Because um, we got to get through God of War 3 and Ghost of Sparta before we hit 2018. So we're getting close, but we're not quite at that level yet. Did Baldur twice? Um, uh, Baldur fight. Was there an option on Baldur fight? I don't honestly, I don't remember. I'm really just like itching to see how they evolve that that game. 2018 was, we can call it the framework, if you will. And now that they, uh, they've had all this time to refine all the assets are built, the hardest parts about video games are coming up with the concept and making sure things work correctly, how you want your game to play and feel. After that kind of stuff is done, it becomes a bit more of a breeze. You do fight Baldur twice, that's right, the first time, the stranger, and then later, that's right, where you actually have to defeat him. No, do you defeat him? I actually don't think you do. I just want to fight Thor, <laughs> and I want to know if we actually get Mjolnir. You snap his neck. Zeus, the Titans had been bound and That's right, you make him mortal. Or feel pain, years, or whatever it is. With no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who would release such evil? As he does it, he's like, who would do this? I would! <laughs> Kratos, you funny, dude. Uh, okay. Didn't have a single chance to press a button. Hello? Hello? <laughs> what was that? What the hell just happened? Bye? They're just lining up for their death. Freya, that's right. It was Freya. That's right. Freya puts, like, essentially a blessing on Baldur so that he feels nothing. Uh, but also, it's no pleasure, no no pain. So it's a double-sided sort of deal. And then we, we uh, find his one weakness, which I forget what it is. Don't spoil it. Even though I played the game technically. He has, like, one specific weakness. It's the only thing that he's weak against. And I forget what it is. Shit. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna hope that they leave me alone. Oh. The platform kind of stops. Alright, we're, we're safe. We can take as much time as we need. Sort of. Uh, either I need to upgrade that magic, or it's not as good as I was hoping. It's definitely not Poseidon's Rage, let's be honest with you. Music went away. Did it cut out for anyone else? There it is. 
Listen, sometimes games just kind of freak out a little bit. It's okay. It's fine. It came back. We're good. We're Gucci. A little hiccup. Yeah, dude, you got to build up those calluses. Got to build up those calluses. And fingers will bleed. But eventually, as you continue going, you won't have to deal with that as much. It's unfortunately <laughs> the biggest reason why I stopped playing bass. I tried when I was around your age. And I did not like having calluses on my hands. And I gave up. You looked up when the music went away? Okay, alright. It was it was pretty jarring. It definitely was pretty jarring just to have music cut out. Cause usually like especially with what we've been experiencing lately. I was ex expecting it to crash, but thankfully it didn't. Thankfully it didn't. All right. Made it. Not that it was difficult, but we still made it. No secrets back there. Nice. Okay. Always got to double check, right? Because of the hidden camera angles, you just never know what's hidden. If you just rush on through where the game points you to, you'll miss so many things. Almost there. <laughs> they really had some fun with these trophies and when they get placed through. Honestly, it's it's pretty hilarious. Someone thought about it meticulously. They didn't do it just arbitrarily.